you have to go through and define your market within any of these tool sets. What Product Opportunity Explorer is doing for you here, Amazon is defining the market for you and also telling you where you fit into the market. So I'm looking at the, um, you know, sort of the product view here. So I've clicked on the product. I'm looking at product metrics right here. I'm literally seeing a chart or a table right below. It says the niches that this product appears in. It gives me the top search terms for all of these niches. So again, Amazon saying this is a niche you fit in. And by the way, these are the top searches that are relevant to this particular niche. And if I wanted to dig into here further, I could look at any one of these particular search terms. I find clicking around here is really good. And then I can even look at, I'll say, okay, this is what Amazon saying is the top search for this niche. What is the demand or the past 90 day growth of search volume for this term? From Amazon, first party data found in three clicks. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. And so this is how we're using it. So not only are we looking at, I say, an individual product level, which can be very helpful if we're trying to aggregate and get a better idea of the market share, we can zoom all the way down into a shopper search level and look at things like, again, the growth of an individual search over time. Now, again, other tools, slightly more customizable because here I'm looking at um, the growth in the past 90 180 and um, some demand and looking at a 360 day window, which is maybe a little bit farther than some people. So again, validity to other tools, we still use them extensively. But here again, I find this very intuitive and user friendly and also with the ability to say, okay, I need to go pull out these quick insights. The